Hi, I'm David, your developer on duty, and in this video we're going to have a look at the new features of the 2310 release of the Helix Text Editor. It's now possible to run several language servers in the background simultaneously and configure Helix to use certain features from one and some others from another. So let's see how that works. You open the Helix configuration, languages, Tommel. And here I configured two language servers. One is EFM and the other one is the TypeScript language server. And for my language TypeScript, I say auto format equals true. And I want to use EFM for the features format and diagnostics. And I want to use TypeScript language server for the rest, except the features format diagnostics, because that's already delegated to EFM. Let me now run Helix on my TypeScript file with dash V. So it will write something to the logs. And now let's say I want to format this document. Then we can check out the Helix log. And you can see that the text document formatting method is being delegated to the EFM language server. Helix comes now with a new fuzzy metric called Nucleo, which is faster than skim and fcf and it can handle unicode correctly and it's also more intuitive than the previous ones it will also enable new features which hopefully come in the next helix version so if you for example open a file picker and then you try to match something then it will use nucleo under the hood now there's a new tab behavior called smart tab and it works like this if your cursor is here and you press tab, then it will jump to the end of the syntax tree's parent node, meaning here. So let's just see how that works in practice. My cursor is at the end of this line here. I press tab and I can continue with my code. Helix supports registers. So for example, you can yank some text into a certain register and then paste it into your editor again. Now there's a bunch of new register, for example, percentage to get the current buffer name or plus or star for the system primary clipboards. So how does that work in practice? Well, I can just press quote and at the bottom right, you can see all my registers. And now I can, for example, use percentage for my document path. And now I can press P to paste it and you can see it's pasted. Language servers work now better with the did change watched files feature. So let's just assume you have some regular expression crate, which you're trying to use and you can see it's not indexed because it's not yet added to the cargo tormel but if you add it then in the background rust analyzer will fetch and index the new dependencies and now it's available when you type it we now have syntax highlighting for regex prompts so for example if you use commands like select and you type in some regular expression you can see the syntax highlighting and it makes those special characters more obvious and therefore you can catch some errors. And as usual, there are a lot more changes. You can have a look at the change log to see a list of them all. Personally, I'm still waiting for a plugin system to make the switch, but I'm curious what you think of Helix. Please post it in the comments. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.